Hi guys, I'm about to head to Formosa Boulevard Station and once I'm there I'm going to try painting the glass mural in my sketchbook. It's going to be challenging because there's nowhere to stitch and this is a very very public place. It's one of the the stops on the MRT so there's going to be a lot of people around and I'm also going to try and film it. I got my phone and this selfie stick that turns into a tripod for my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to attempt to do that. It's going to be nerve-wracking because I'm sure there's going to be people who will stop and stare. Because they, they already stare enough as it is just because I'm a foreigner. And now they're just, they're just going to do it even more. Because people love to just stare while, pe while artists are at work. It's annoying, but also flattering, so I'm going to try to ignore it and do my best. Alright, see you then. Alright guys, here I am at Formosa Boulevard Station. This is the Dome of Light. That's the name of the glass mural. I just wanted to walk around and show you guys what it looks like before I start painting. As you can see, it's very beautiful and breathtaking. Honestly, the video does not do it justice. You, if you're ever in Taiwan, you have to come and see it for yourself. Alright guys, so now as you can see I am sketching out a basic outline of the Dome of Light. You can't see it very well because I'm drawing it very lightly so that the pencil marks don't show through the paint. So I'm going to be using Intense Travel Set. If you ever paint or if you ever want to start painting, I would highly recommend these. They are perfect for on the go. Unlike watercolors, they dry a lot quicker. And so they're just easier to do things very quickly. Uh, I really like them. But unlike watercolor, they don't lift from the page. So once they dry, they're permanent. When you add water again, they're not, the paint's not gonna come off. So you can do layers on top of it very easily. So I used a little tripod to film with my phone. I kind of just sat on the floor and leaned against a regular pillar. There were people that watched but it wasn't as bad as I had expected so I think it'll be easier to paint like this in the future now that I've done it already. So this happened, I had no idea that the Dome of Light had a light show. So I had to stop painting and I filmed the show. It started around 5 o'clock, I'm not sure if it's the same time every day. Oh and this woman stood in the middle the entire time, but that's okay. But that was a cool surprise.
everyone, I am back from my trip to the Formosa Boulevard to paint the Dome of Light. I also went to Legends. It's a sports bar here in Gaoshan. And while I was there, I went ahead and painted some of the backdrop of the bar. Because I, I actually had to wait on my food for quite a while. They had a big party upstairs, so things took longer than usual. Alright, so let me show you first my painting of the Dome of Light. I think it looks pretty cool. It's not as bright as I would like, but that's to be expected when using anything with any medium with water, like watercolor or intense. Over here I tried to do somewhat a representation of one of the scenes. It's uh, basically a silhouette of a man and there's galaxies within him. It looks way better in the original but there's my attempt at it. Alright, so for the painting I did at Legends, I used this smaller sketchbook. And here's Legends. They had these little paintings of, on the wall of food. There was a whole lot more in the background, but you know, I can't fit everything, so I just kind of put what was important. Alright, so that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you like these videos. I think we're go I'm going to do another video like this in the future. I think next week I'll go to Lotus Pond. And maybe the week after that I will go to Pier 2. Which is like this very artsy area by the water. It has a lot of cool stuff. And I could just paint a lot of little things there and maybe put it all on one big collage of all the art there. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye!